Today we're going to perform a factory reset on a Motorola XT912 and be warned that following these procedures will delete the information stored on your phone so make sure you have a backup. I'm going to start with the hard reset which is using a combination of buttons assuming that you have lost or forgotten your passcode and what we're going to do is start by turning the phone off first and we're going to use a combination of buttons on the side here the up and down volume buttons and also the power button. So what you're going to have to do is hold both of the buttons at the same time. You may be able to do it with uh, one finger or two, but hold both of your volume buttons down. Press the power button just for a second or two, and you'll go into this screen where you can scroll down with the volume down button. But if you use the up, it is going to select the item that you have. So what we want to do is go to the second one here from the top, and we're going to press up, and that is going to activate that option. And what this will do is put the phone into uh, what some people are calling triage mode where you see the sick little droid on the operating table um, having open heart surgery or whatever it is and this is going to give us a few more options. What we're going to have to do next is actually press both of these buttons for about five seconds, both of the volume buttons. Hold them down, give it about five seconds and it will bring you to another screen where you can then go ahead and use the scroll buttons in either direction to select the factory wipe option which you'll see me doing here shortly and then you're going to use the power button to actually activate the function so we'll scroll scroll down here and then we'll hit the power button and then it's going to ask us to confirm the selection so you have one last chance not to wipe your data here if you want to proceed scroll down to that option and then you can hit the power button again and this will perform a complete factory wipe on your XT912. Once this procedure finishes, and you want to make sure, of course, that your battery is charged before you begin this procedure, um, you're going to have this very uh, impressive, extravagant startup screen that they spent so much time putting together. I'm not sure why um, the splash screen on this phone is kind of ridiculous, but in any case, uh, after a few minutes here, you'll be able to go through your normal setup, select your language, add your Google account, and so forth. Uh, in a, and you'll see here there's actually after the procedure finishes you do want to reboot that we're going to se select the reboot option and go ahead and restart the phone and again this will take a couple of minutes for the whole procedure to take place. Okay, what we're going to do is unlock the screen and we'll go to the main screen, hit your home button, settings, and then go into system settings and you're going to select the privacy tab. Once you click on this option, you'll have a factory reset. Click on that, scroll down, check the box, hit reset phone, and you're good. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Post your questions in the comment section below or visit gocellphonerepair.com forward slash forum. Thanks for watching.